And now more on the war in Gaza, where as casualties from the conflict continue to mount, online people across America continue to attack each other viciously. I never thought we'd end up here at Forgotten Wars Bar. What a dump! Life, man. Life comes at you very fast, Vladimir. I don't belong here, surrounded by... Who even are these people? Well, at the end of the bar, that's the Syrians, and uh, way back there by bathrooms is uh, the Yemenis. It's incredible! Until recently, I was focus of global attention. Giving speeches at United Nations, sunflower emojis everywhere. People even stopped calling it THE Ukraine. But now, it's all Gaza, all of time. Even MSNBC will barely return my calls. Ah, uh, yes. It is always ones who love us who hurt us most. It's really sad, man. I get it. Wait a minute, what are you upset about? You love it that we're here. Well, of course I'm happy we're here. Every day that your ugly mug isn't on TV pleading for money and weapons is a brighter day for me. My problem is that this is all just so incredibly unfair. What do you mean unfair? You have invaded like half of... Psh I know that. But I'm old enough to remember when creating massive refugee crisis and destroying civilian infrastructure was something that got you sanctioned, isolated, cancelled, treated like... Uh, like Will Smith in Hollywood. Ah, true. That certainly doesn't seem to be the case now. It looks like we can finally agree on something. We are both unhappy. Now, speaking of agreeing on things, why don't we just agree that our little forgotten war here just ends where it is and I will keep the parts of Ukraine that- You keep my country's name out of your fucking mouth! Public regime! Hi, President Zelensky here. You might remember me from such wars as Russia's invasion of Ukraine. These days, most of media has left me behind, but not G-Zero Daily Newsletter. Subscribe at link below.